The ninth annual Italian festival, Festa Italiana, I said it correctly this time. <laughs> <laughs> it is happening this weekend. It is free to the public. It is, uh, you said Saturday and Sunday, right? Correct. Saturday the, from 12 to 10. The prompter lied to me. The prompter said Friday <laughs> and Saturday, but it's Saturday and Sunday at the Gateway. Yeah, Chris is joining us again uh, to talk about what's happening there. I mean, you already went over some of the things a little bit earlier, but let's talk about them. Re let's review. What, do, what can we look forward to this weekend? Well, this is our ninth year, and we are so proud to announce the Festival Italia, Festa Italiana again at the Gateway on Saturday from 12 to 10, Sunday from 12 to 7. We have 15 food vendors, 15 arts vendors. We have a Ferrari, Maserati, Ducati show. We have street awesome. performers. We have two bands we bring from Italy. We also have three bands from around the country that come as well. Nonstop music and free admission. Bring the family, bring your pets. So if you I, want a little taste of Italy, you've never been to Italy, and you don't get to go like Lincoln gets to go next week, <laughs> this will give you a little taste of Italy. Exactly. Our main focus is authenticity. We want to make sure you feel like you're walking down the streets of Italy. We love the venue gateway to make you feel like that. So this is free to go to, correct? Yep, Talk absolutely. about that. Maybe people might be surprised by that. Yeah, it's free admission. Come walk around the streets of Gateway. You know, it's a city venue. You're just walking around and enjoy yourself. But please bring your money. Support the community. <laughs> yeah. Buy some food. All of this money goes back to the the uh, community, Catholic Community Services, excuse me, a portion of the profits go to the Catholic Community Services. So we, you're giving back to the community while having fun yeah. at the same time. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, okay, so you guys are expanding this year, right? Exactly, yes. And we're expanding into the first south intersection. This is the first time the festival has been growing exponentially every year. So we're really proud to announce that. Awesome. Um, I mean, you know, there are so many cultures that people love to celebrate when they think of food, especially. Italian, though, I mean, that's got to be at the top of the list for oh, yeah. so many people. What is it about Italian food, Italian culture that is obviously making this festival so popular? I mean, the roots of Italian food come from, you know, the basics of cheese, pasta and tomatoes mm -hmm. and when, delicious and <laughs> right. you're gonna you're gonna you know visit this very shortly to see how fresh everything is and those those simple flavors coming together are so fresh and so delicious you just want more mm -hmm. yeah um, tell us about we have a large Italian community here in Utah tell us about how the Italians started coming to Utah great question um, so uh, you know back in the early 20s and 30s when the railroad was being built a lot of people came through price so there's a large mm -hmm. Italian community in price as well of course you know eventually migrated up here to Salt Lake City and and then the Italian American Civic League was formed in 1934 so this is our 90th year wow. and then of course a big committee formed from the Italian American Civic League developed the Festa Italiana and we're all volunteers nobody with the festival gets paid this is all volunteer work You've already said you're expanding and that this is the ninth year. Can you just talk about how this has sort of grown over the past nine years and how that growth has gone? Absolutely. Our first year was on Rio Grande between 3rd third, third and 4th West, or excuse me, 4th and 5th West. And we shut down the street and it was a very, very successful first year. Year two, we knew immediately we needed a bigger venue. The Gateway's been such a great partner with us and it's been busier and busier every year. Uh, we're really happy to be expanding it. Eventually, we're going to be through the whole streets of Gateway. Yeah, that would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. But do keep that in mind if you're going to be downtown this weekend. You said which intersection is going to be closed down? First South. First South is going to be closed down over there by the Gateway. So make sure you're avoiding that area. I know, seriously. So I came, uh, I moved back to Utah in 2022 and I went to the festival. And then, no, excuse me, 2021. And then I missed it for two years. And I was, I was so upset because it is one of those. <laughs> I don't know, for me, an iconic sort of food experience, mm -hmm. just being downtown with all of those people. You already mentioned this, but I want you to hit on this one more time, that atmosphere that the Gateway gives you. Absolutely, I mean, it feels like the cobblestone roads. It feels like a winding street. We put, we pipe the music down the street from the stages, so you're hearing the music it. all through the stages while you're waiting in line for food and, you know, uh, tall tables where you can stand and eat you know it's kind of traditional you get an espresso in italy you kind of stand and drink it you know at the, at the counter yeah so we want to kind of give you those those types of feelings as well and this okay. is authentic italian food this is not olive garden right this is authentic real <laughs> italian i didn't food. hear that la, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> yes this is all local restaurants so restaurants you can go to tomorrow night or the night next weekend of course by all means they're they're here presenting what they can provide the solid community at the festival. We, we really appreciate their partnerships. And I learned I'll go to jail in Italy if I eat a cannoli with a fork. Yeah, so, so don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, let's talk about some of the food. We want to go into the kitchen. Ron is in there. I guess they were going to give him a chance to taste the food as well. Why didn't I get a chance to taste the food? Oh, maybe we'll save some for you. <laughs> so, Ron, who do you have in there? What do you got for okay, us? Okay, this is uh, Frank Granato, and of course Granato's a uh, 
famous, very popular name here in Utah. And in fact, you guys have uh, three delis, right? Yes. Yeah. Correct. And we're going to talk about sandwiches, obviously. Let's uh, get started on that. And in fact, you can pick up a, a sandwich this weekend at the Italian festival. All right. Well, let's uh, start with this one right here. Meatballs. Meatball sub. Yeah. That's one of our uh, number one hot selling sandwiches. And how many sandwiches do you go through every year? We do over three million sandwiches a year in four different states and hoping to increase that. <laughs> <laughs> got to keep growing the business. Okay, so we got the meatball sandwich. We got Italian combo. That's our number one. That was the first one we started with mm -hmm. uh, two, on ciabatta and on uh, hoagie roll. We right. got a caprese on ciabatta and on hoagie here as well. We got a prosciutto and Asiago stromboli, which is uh, rolled up. It's calzone, just rolled a different way, you know, long. Uh -huh. uh, we've got pastas, which we make in-house. Yeah. Uh, we got gelato that my yeah, son started right. making. Yeah, this is, and uh, what is this one? Cold, this is a strawberry. That's, oh, strawberry that's, gelato. That's one of my wife's favorites. Oh, really? And then this one? This is a vanilla. Vanilla. That's one of my favorite flavors, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, and, uh, you guys uh, do the bread too. What's the secret to making this bread so delish? Uh, let the baker do his job. I stay out of the kitchen. <laughs> uh, we've got uh, we're in the process of building a state-of-the-art uh, new bakery for a local celebrity chef. Oh, That'll really? be coming soon, and hopefully, it'll increase our lines and uh, the things we can present to people. Okay, then Italian drinks. Some uh, Pellegrino to wash all this down with. Right. Okay, so you're going to be uh, set up there at the, at the festival this weekend. Well, Tell me a little bit about that experience. Uh, it's, it's just a great experience and a great event, you know. Me and my kids and wife, we get together and uh, host this event every year at our booth. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, hopefully, will be another uh, record breaker for them. Okay. Yeah, and, of course, uh, you guys have a sizable... Uh, Italian population here in yes. Salt Lake. Tell us about that. You know, there's uh, people, believe it or not, you know, down to Willa, Carbon counties, these mm -hmm. uh, down in the mining towns, that's where a lot of Italians came. That's where my grandfather started, door to door in a truck selling to those those same people. Uh huh. And, and of course, uh, this is a, a family thing you have going on here. You continue to, to keep this going. We're on our fourth generation, 76 years, and hope to go another four in 76. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure you will. And uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, we've had um, a lot of pressures with inflation and those types of things, but you seem to be enduring through all of that. You know, we just come together, keep doing what we do. Uh, we got great customers that support us, and uh, it, it just helps drive it. Okay. We're all in the same boat, and this will pass. Well, Frank, thank you very much for coming in. Congratulations. And uh, this weekend, a lot of people can kind of sample all sorts of Italian food. So. That's going to be awesome. I appreciate Frank, it. Thank you. Good luck to you, man. Appreciate it. All right, back to you guys. All right, All right, and a big part of this weekend, the weather, Lindsay. Yes. So is it going to cooperate? It's going to be great. Okay, perfect. I've ordered up great weather for you. <laughs>